is IB Kings. Uh, today I'm not really happy. <laughs> like I'm still sad. Everything happening in Africa. Africa is in disarray. Besides, like my country of origin, like neighboring countries as well. Like it's just, it's just super sad. Like I don't know, man. I honestly don't know. Like I don't want to start like the blame game, blaming our government and everything. But who else? Like who else is responsible for all this? Like. 2020 is the year our eyes opened someone said that is the vision that we didn't hope for but it's the vision we actually needed our eyes were open to like the despicable things happening in congo <sighs> i saw those videos and it made me cry like i was teary eyed basically how can children children forced into slavery because that, that is slavery you know Children, they're supposed to be playing with toys or in schools and they're on these uh, meals. They, like, it's just super, super sad. And who else would blame than our government? Like, the bare minimum, children. Children. <sighs> and then, talk about the one happening in Nigeria. The NSAS movement. You need to... Okay, I'm going to put up all the hashtags. If you're not familiar with all this, I would encourage you to just check them out and see this gruesome things happening in Africa and I'm not calling on I'm not saying I'm just saying this I'm bringing this out here for the sake of awareness it makes me wonder what's like a difference between the leaders now and the leaders then who sold our ancestors friends and family to slavery like because all these things like what is happening in Congo, Congo, Congo right it's because of the white man, what what do most of these companies that use the cobalt that they are, that they are mining for is they are all international companies, or most of them are international companies that use this. This is the same thing that happened in Niger Delta in Nigeria. Who exploit the people, the land, kill them if they um, if they rebel or speak back. Just. For how many millions of dollars? I did. I, it's the same thing. Like this circle just keeps going around. Same way they sold people to slavery. Then, so I don't understand what kind of leaders we are putting in power. It says a lot. It says a lot. So many hashtags trending. In Namibia, it is shut it all down. In Ghana and Ivory Coast, there's child trafficking. In Cameroon, there's the Anglophone crisis. There's just so many things happening right now in 2020. And then sometimes I feel like maybe if I just wish it all away, it will all be gone. Or I can just wake up one morning and it's just a terrible dream that I'm having. Or I don't even know. It is so sad. Someone said the Nigerian dream is to get the fuck out of Nigeria. And where is the lie? Like, after the massacre in Lekki, <laughs> that is actually one is very funny to me because the governor right he said on national television that there were no casualties and on CNN the ex like opposites once 180 degrees who, who had who were armless they were with the flags singing the national anthem and then they killed them just like that just makes you wonder they don't regard us man they don't once they're they're up there in power they become power drunk or something i don't know what is in those offices or i don't know man it's just super super sad super sad super sad it makes me wonder what is the point of everything why why <laughs> And there's someone who said, I don't know, he's a pastor in Ghana who mentioned that our own generation will be too scared to have children. They'll be too scared to. And because we see all these things and we're asking ourselves, what is the point? What's the point? Someone of my age mates is going to say, if they don't have XYZ amount of dollars in their account, they don't want to give themselves such points. And you see the point. You see why. Because. I don't know man, I'm just tired. 
Sometimes I just have to take, put my phone away or put like divert all my energy into something creative or school or work or something something else and just try to forget about what's happening but it's not you can't forget it it's there social media has made it so visible and there's something that has to be done we cannot keep living in this circle our children should not just cannot go out there like have the same problems maybe not exactly the same but it's what is same day a different day same bullshit recycling the same i it's just well um i'm gonna put all the hashtags you can check them out on on every social media actually the same hashtags are trending everywhere and then i'll put in the description how you can help how you can basically i'm just doing this video just to raise awareness everybody has a platform and it would be nice if everybody used their platform right now what's currently going on in nigeria which is uh one of which i follow very dearly because that's my country is um there is a panel set up to, uh, to ensure like almost all the cases i don't know if all but all the death cases everybody who have been victims can be compensated and then the criminals be uh, brought to face the full arm of the law <laughs> i really hope this works i hope this is the beginning of a new nigeria like they say and i really hope that every other country like congo bleeding i don't know i cannot say uh, this, like uh, the un or foreign bodies to help us because <laughs> we've been here before man we've been here before we have to do something we have to do something and we have to do it now so this circle this vicious circle can end thank you for watching <laughs>